Yes, we've come down to Christchurch Bay. Uh, I was hoping to show you um, some rotational cliffs hunting at Barton, but unfortunately, or fortunately in this case, um, we're unable to go along the beach to cycle along the beach uh, due to um, increased rainfall levels have caused unstable slopes and large landslides to occur in this area. Mudslides have blocked tracks, resulting in no access to Barton on sea. The cliffs are also very soft and you may become stuck if you attempt to climb over them. And what this is actually showing us here is that thing we called uh, mass movement um, or rotational cliff slumping. And this is actually what the rotational cliff slumping looks like down here at High Cliff. And on top of the cliff there, you can actually see Naish Caravan Park. And we can just see some of the caravans or holiday homes um, balanced on top of the cliffs there. Um, we're going to go down to Barton Sea, we're going to have to go over the roadway as it's unable, as the tide's just coming in, unable to cycle down there. Uh, and we'll actually look at what protection is being put in place uh, to protect Barton on Sea and what happens if that protection uh, isn't there for land that isn't as valuable like the golf course. So uh, I think we'll just go up a bit further up now. So I'm just uh, cycling from High Cliff. Uh, up to Barton Sea along the road, and I come across this great sign here uh, at Nash Farm that says uh, Luxury Cliff Top Lodges for Sale. Nah. Just been in to see Phil, um, the sales manager at Hoburn Nash Caravan Park, um, and he tells me that the lodges uh, that are up for sale are perfectly safe because what they're doing is they're taking the water. Uh, from underneath that permeable layer and taking it out uh, to Chewton Bunny and Chewton Bunny, uh, the bunnies are old rivers uh, that run in the area and Chewton Bunny is just here on the side so taking that water out uh, and getting rid of it so it should be okay for the next 35 years uh, the type of people who can afford uh, these shallows as you can see £220,000 will get you this one the type of people that will buy these are typically retiring people so 35 years is okay for them, that's what Phil has told me. So these are the prices, so they're still not cheap. So uh, I've come over to, uh, to look at these chances of a lifetime. Uh, the, the prices have really plummeted and dropped, um, but maybe this is why. These are the uh, caravans for sale here, and here we have great coastal views but I'm stood on the path that just appears to end um, it did once have a, a walkway that went right down onto the beach but as you can actually see and I'm, I'm stood in rather a precarious spot so I shouldn't stay here too long um, but you can actually see the foundations of buildings here uh, piping uh, that was once used um, for the houses here and, and that really is a problem because these houses here actually add weight to uh, these already unstable cliffs so there we are these are for sale um, and obviously no geographers would would buy these um, but let's go and have a look a bit further down the beach. okay we're here at Barton on the sea um, now we're here to look at rotational cliffs something now here is a really really good place to see the different layers of geology. On top we have a sandy pebble um, structure which is permeable, that allows the water to percolate through it, to infiltrate through. Okay, on, on the bottom of that we've got our Barton clay, so you can just see uh, here. Okay, that's the difference, that's the different layers. So you've got on top permeable uh, sand gravel, okay, and below we've got our Barton clay. Okay, now the Barton clay is impermeable. It doesn't really allow the water to soak through and it hasn't rained here for a couple of days and you can actually see the water running off from here. Now it's actually seeping out from underneath um, that permeable structure. Now that would tell me that that water has taken a while to come through. It's actually lubricating uh, the joint in between and this could be a site for rotational cliff slumping. Now we've got protection all the way down this coast, this way, because there's houses just 20 metres uh, from the edge of the cliff. And those houses are actually worth a fair bit of money. Okay, definitely something that I wouldn't be able to afford on a teacher's side. We've got rock and allows the waves to dissipate their
their energy through as the waves are coming up. We've got regrading and you can actually see the plants and trees have been planted here okay with the slope being managed. That just firms up the soil a bit, it kind of uh, consolidates all that loose material, makes it a bit more stable. We've also got groins which keeps that beach material up. Uh, we've also got beach renourishment, okay, and replenishment as well. So renourishment coming from the same place dumped again. You can actually see that in front of me uh, where a truck came uh, a couple of nights ago and they've actually dumped that there. Now all of this costs an absolute fortune to do. A little bit further around the coast, uh, which we're going to have a look at now. So as we were saying, a little bit further around the coast, we've got the end of our rock farmer. And further on down the beach, we can see that the cliff is actually being eroded very, very quickly. And if we turn here, you can actually see where the slumping is taking place and that water pooling out. We've actually got some uh, pools of water and these little rivers that are coming out here. So this really is a site where rotational cliff slumping occurs quite regularly. So we're going to move off here uh, rather quickly. But the reason that it's not protected further on here is because on top of this land is a golf course. And I'm sorry to all those golfers, but the council just don't see that as uh, land worth protecting, as this will cost millions of pounds. <laughs> 